So what we have done essentially is loaded this hoodie model into this male model, exactly copied the pose of the person and replaced the white shirt with the brown hoodie. Let's go to Comfy UI, start a basic image to text image to text to image uh, workflow. I'll load the checkpoint. Okay, sampler, V8, decode, and save image. And I'll need clip text encoders for both positive and negative prompts. So this is the basic uh, text to image workflow. Let's link it up. My model will go to model, clip to clip for both positive and negative prompts, and then to case sampler, VA to VA, case sampler to VA, and image to save. Uh, we would need a, usually we would need a latent, empty latent image for the AI model to start, you know, painting the image. But here we will load the, uh, the male model's image that we want to edit. And we'll inpaint it and add it as a blank canvas for the K sampler. So I'll upload this image. Then I'll right click and say open in mask editor. And I'll select this area of the shirt where we want the hoodie to be replaced. We're just masking it. Now, painting, VA, encode for VPaint, in painting. I'll put the image here, the mask here, the VA will go here, and the latent image will go here. So now we have the blank canvas where the AI has to regenerate the jacket. Now, to copy the pose, we'll create a control net of the same male model. So I'll again load the image and I'll load the same image of the person because I want to track the hand movements, hand uh, gestures, the way the person is standing and copy the exact same thing. I need an apply control net, a load control net model and I would need an open pose preprocessor which will copy the pose of the person. So this will take this as the input image, send it to the control net, then the control net is added here. Now the control net has to reroute the prompt that we are getting from the load checkpoint uh, before it goes to K sampler. So we'll reroute the text inputs. We'll put it here. And in the text input, I'll, I'll put a negative input as deformed because we want uh, nice hands uh, and nice fingers. And in the positive prompt, I'll say a man wearing a brown hoodie. That's it. Now what this will do is it will pick this area in the masked uh, uh, canvas and it will try to copy the open pose of this person so that the case sampler can paint an image. Now what image should be painted? That comes from the jacket which is uh, through the IP adapter. So let me load an IP adapter. Again, let me load an image and I'll input the jacket image which is a PNG here. <coughs> IP adapter. Unified loader. So what I'll do is connect the image to image, there's no mask required here. And now I'll reroute the load checkpoint via IP adapter to K-Sampler instead of directly sending it. So now that this is done, I'll just put this as high strength. Let's change the model to SD 1.5 realistic vision. realistic vision. And we need to apply the same control net. That is SD 1.5 open pose. So let's double check everything. I'm loading the image here for the prompt, which is going to the case sampler. I'm adding a textual prompt, which is going via the control net here to the case sampler. And I'm doing a jacket, uh, the hoodie image via IP adapter, which is going to the case sampler too. Let's hit Q and see what gets generated. Okay, this is the image it generated. There are some issues with the borders. Let's try out changing the CFG to 2.5 instead of 8. And let's try it again. There you go. There's a perfect image. So what we have done essentially is loaded this hoodie model into this male model, exactly copied the pose of the person and replaced the white shirt with the brown hoodie. That's it. Hope you like it.